I'm going to show some basic illustrator modification and making a multi-panel figures. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So you first want to make a um, new object. It doesn't really matter the size because you can always change the size of what are called the artboards later. And you'll then want to save this AI file wherever your, your image is going to be for this multi-panel figure. Um, so here I'm going to go track down the location on my computer. I'm going to call it anything, like sort of whatever you want to call a figure. Save it in the latest version. Then in order to construct these figures, you want to um, use the place option. So you're going to place and find one of the top, uh, one of the panels you want to insert. And so uh, when there's a single, look, when there's a single um, page to your PDF, it's okay to do it that way. But if there's multi pages, you sometimes want to uh, make sure you do it with the import options turned on. So you have some control over which file or which page of the PDF you insert. And so you sometimes can see that there multi might be multi panels. Uh, this one only has one. So again, we're throwing in some multi panel figures. Um, and so what we can also then do is we can make a example of making a mask. And so sometimes your labels have the same thing. Um, and so maybe PC one is always plotted in the same way. Um, and so for example, here, we might want to mask out this bottom part. So you select the, the place image, hit the mask button, and then you drag up the actual panel. Uh, this has changed a little bit since CS5, which is what I used last, but this way it allows you to sort of crop things without actually cropping the image or making any permanent changes. Um, and so this allows us to you know, have a little bit more control without having to fully um, change something that can't be remade using R. So then I'm going to place um, the last panel of this. You can maybe zoom out a little bit. and do a little bit of restructuring of these to line it up a little bit better. And this is the point at which you can actually modify the artboards in order to um, capture the whole image in one panel. Uh, and then the last step is typically something like adding paneling numbers. So for example, I can select my text. I will throw an A up here, uh, make it a little bit bigger. Maybe a panel B here. Copy that again. Maybe this becomes panel C. And then this becomes panel D. Uh, at this point, you maybe want to do a little bit of tweaking to make sure everything kind of lines up um, before you save it. You know, you can try to reduce some of the white space in these images and then maybe modify the artboard uh, to maybe add a little bit, you know, on the top to, to move the 100, maybe move this in a little bit. And we can maybe chop the bottom a little bit. Um, then we want to save it. Then maybe we'll move this to the far side to make it, you know, all in the top left corner. Save it again. Um, and then when you want to actually export it, there's different options. So one thing you can do is you can say, um, save a copy if you want to do a PDF. And then you'll just put um, a file name, save it. Uh, I honestly don't know a lot of these options. I always choose high quality prints because it sounds cooler. Um, so you can save it there. And if you want an image file, you can use the export option and say export as. Uh, then you get a little bit more options in terms of images. So maybe you want to do a JPEG. You can call it, you know, subfigure one, export. Uh, you'll get some options here for different color modes and quality. We can just keep it as the defaults. And so then if you look in your, in your, um, in your folder, uh, you should now have, um, you know, these, these files all created. And so now you can see that there's a JPEG that you can sort of reopen and take a look at. Um, something weird happened with some placing. Uh, 
that could also that might have been a function of where the initial um the initial artboards were so maybe we can take a look at to make sure that the actual um pdf looks okay so yeah this looks pretty good um and so that's sort of a quick and dirty tutorial of using illustrator to make a multi-panel figure